Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Ion Aircraft LLC acquired by Venture Capital Geode, also sudden fun to host Hot Air Balloon Festival and Bombardier Safety Stand Down set for November 2nd. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Ion Aircraft LLC acquired by Venture Capital Geode. Ion Aircraft LLC has found a buyer in Geode Capital Management. Ion is the designer of the 120, a twin boom LSA, sporting a pusher layout, tandem seating, and a glass panel. Throughout the development process, Ion pared down their intended offerings to the 100, the kit aircraft, and the 120. The factory built aircraft meeting light sport requirements. The company's small size made the transition research, development, and design to production too hard to make it without outside help. Geode Capital completed the purchase in September of this year. It would seem that production is expected as the Ion Aircraft website is back with additional Geode branding. If the Ion can come to market, it would prove to be a strong competitor in the LSA segment. It doesn't just have eye-catching styling and fighter cockpit seating, but a 552-pound useful load, a 500-foot ground roll, and a 132 knot cruise. Currently, it advises G3X Avionics, a Rotax 912 ULS, and a three-blade Ward Drive Carbon Fiber Pusher. After the break, NBAA leadership updated. More news after these messages. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Prestels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're going to hear more about it. Welcome back with so much news coming out of the aviation industry. We're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. NBAA leadership updated. The National Business Aviation Association has re-elected four individuals to the association's board of directors during an annual meeting held during the 2021 Business Aviation Convention and Exhibition. Leadership changes include Monty Cock of Choice Hotels, succeeding Elizabeth Dornack of DuPont as board chair. John Witzig of Pfizer will now serve as NBAA's new vice chair treasurer. Airbus Corporate Jets reports sale of ACJ220. Airbus Corporate Jets announced the sale of their newest, most advanced business jet, the ACJ220, to an undisclosed buyer somewhere in the U.S. Once produced, the plane will be delivered in the green to partner company Comlux, the exclusive cabin outfitter for the first 15 ACJ220 aircraft. At 2021's NBAA base, Richard Gaona, executive chairman and CEO at Comlux, presented a series of cabin configurations, design options, ambiances, and furniture created by his company. Alto Aviation announces new cabin equipment. Alto Aviation, maker of premium cabin audio systems, amplifier speakers, and subwoofers, has unveiled its latest addition to their lineup, the Alto Soundstage. It provides owners and operators with a stereo system just as good as what they might have at home. And 
they believe, may be even better. Alta promises a custom-turned and laid-out audio system tailored for each specific installation, with speakers carefully spread throughout the cabin, placed for maximum sound quality, clarity, and response. Listeners can enjoy surround sound at any seat on the plane. Embraer and CAE launch full-flight Phenom Sim. Soon after inking a deal for 100 of their new Phenom 300 aircraft, Embraer has announced next year's launch of their full-flight simulator for the type, allowing cheaper, more efficient training for operators and flight schools. Announced at NBAA 2021, Embraer CAE Training Services will offer the sim during the second half of 2022 to be operated by ECTS, a joint venture between the two companies. The announcement comes in a time of increasing business aviation demand. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Sun and fun to host Hot Air Balloon Festival. The Up, Up and Away Florida Hot Air Balloon Festival is set for next year during the spring. Festival goers will see balloon glows or take tethered rides with multiple opportunities for early morning and late afternoon sessions. In addition, a car show, live music, helicopter rides, a variety of vendors, and a selection of great food will give families plenty to do throughout the event. 2022 will be the second annual festival in what hopefully will become a tradition for ballooning enthusiasts. Up Up and Away Florida seeks to provide fundraising opportunities for local nonprofit organizations, as well as support educational opportunities in the area. In its first year, they were able to donate $10,000 to the Aerospace Center for Excellence in support of its youth STEM programs, with an estimated attendance of $25,000 people this year, UUAF is recruiting balloon teams from around the country to take part in their activities. The festival will be held on the Sun and Fun Expo campus from May 6th until the 8th, located on the south side of Lakeland Linder International Airport. We have more news after these messages. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Errol Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical, with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. The Zephyr is what you have always wanted. A highly capable two-seat turbine-powered helicopter with great ramp appeal, 100 mile per hour cruise speed, 172 nautical mile range, and to top it all off, a first of its kind emergency airframe parachute system, the Curdy Design Zephyr. Unique, advanced, innovative, and highly capable. Your ultimate freedom machine is available now at zephyr.eu. Welcome back, Bombardier Safety Stand Down set for November 2nd. Bombardier celebrates the 25th anniversary of their annual Safety Stand Down, a safety conference for aviators, owners, and operators with a focus on human factor in aviation. Speakers at this year's event include Tony Kern, Amy Grubb, and Dan Budigheimer. Christopher Lutet, partner at Convergent Performance, LLC, will speak on automated airmanship and Captain Clark Otter McNeese, Vice President of Flight Operations and Standards at Aviation Performance Solutions, will explore loss of control in flight. Begun in 1996 as a safety training event for the Learjet Flight Demonstration Team, the conference became sufficiently renowned to open beyond Bombardier's customers. 
Three years later, the scope expanded further towards pilots of all types and certificates. In 2010, Safety Stand Down became something of an online safety brand, with past lectures and seminars available for pilots around the world. Bombardier reports that over its lifetime, more than 10,000 corporate, commercial, and military aviation professionals have attended seminars across the world, running from November 2nd until the 3rd at the Hyatt Regency Hotel in Wichita, Kansas. The general sessions and select workshops will be available through webcast. Bombardier has adopted a COVID-19 vaccine requirement for safety stand down 2021. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Airborne in the directory and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.